With the increasing popularity of serverless computing, more and more developers are starting to use function compute. They are not only freed from heavy operation and maintenance work, but also able to quickly launch a new application with function compute providing agile support for business development. Then, how to build an application based on function compute? Hello, and welcome to this episode of Cloud Forward. Today, let's explore the development and configuration features of Alibaba Cloud Function Compute. From the previous introduction, we know that with Alibaba Cloud Function Compute, users do not need to manage basic infrastructure such as servers. They only need to write code and upload it. Function Compute will prepare computing resources for users to run code in an elastic and reliable manner. And even better, users only need to pay for these resources consumed by the code during actual operation, and no cost will be generated when the code is not running. What is the complete development and deployment process based on Function Compute? First, you need to understand the most fundamental concept of function compute. Let's take a look at the concept of service. A service is a unit of resource management in function compute. There can be many functions under one service, which share the network configuration, permission configuration, storage configuration, and log configuration of the service. A service can be seen as an application composed of many functions that share the same access permissions. Network configuration and log store for logging. Although the functions may have different configurations, for example, some functions in the same service may have a memory of three gigabytes while others have 512 megabytes. Some functions may be written in Python while others in Node.js. Certainly, if the application is very complex, one application can also correspond to multiple services and there is no strong binding relationship. Now, let's take a look to the concept of function. Functions are the core concept in function compute and are the basic unit of management and operation. A function is usually composed of a series of configurations and a runnable code package. The configuration of a function includes runtime, which is the environment type in which the function runs, code, which is the function code package, handler, which is the entry function, timeout, which is the function timeout, memory size, which is the memory allocated for the function execution environment, initializer, which is the initialization function, Initializer timeout, which is the maximum running time of the initializer function. Next, let's take a look at the concept of trigger. In the event-driven computing model, the event source is the producer of the event. The function is the handler of the event and the trigger provides a centralized and unified way to manage different event sources. When an event occurs, if it meets the rules defined by the trigger, the event source will automatically call the function corresponding to the trigger. Some typical use cases include processing objects uploading to OSS, such as image processing, audio and video transcoding, and OSS zip package decompression, as well as cleaning processing and archiving logs in SLS triggering function execution at specified times and so on. I have previously introduced services, functions and triggers which allow developers to build applications using function compute. However, a new question arises. How can developers update the code with new requirements without affecting the online application and smoothly iterate it? To solve this problem, Function Compute introduced versions and aliases. A version is like a snapshot of a service, including the service's configuration, function code, and function configuration. When you have finished development and testing, you can publish a version. 
Versions are monotonically increasing and once published cannot be changed. You can continue to develop and test on the latest version without affecting the published versions. When calling a function, you only need to specify the version to call the corresponding function. Then here comes a new question. The version name is monotonically increasing as specified by function compute. Every time a version is released, there will be a new version. Do clients need to change the code to execute the latest version every time a version is released? To solve this problem, we introduced aliases. Aliases are pointers to specific service versions. After the version is released, just point the alias to the released version, and after another release, switch the alias to point to the latest version. The client side only need to specify the alias to ensure that the latest code is called online. Aliases also support gray release where 10% traffic is directed to the latest version and 90% is theoretically directed to the old version. Rollback is also very simple. Just point the alias to the previous version to quickly complete the rollback. After understanding these core concepts, we can move on to the development process. First, developers create a service, set up logging, permissions, and other configurations. Then they create functions, write code to develop functions in the current versions. And after testing, they publish a version. The first version published is version one. Then they create an alias, prod, that points to version one and ready to provide services. The logs of client-side function calls will be recorded in the log store configured by the developer. Function Compute provides comprehensive monitoring charts. After the application is deployed, developers can view the health status of the application through the monitoring charts and logs. When developers have new requirements, they can continue to modify the code and develop functions in the latest version. After testing, they can publish new version, which is version 2. Switch 10% of the traffic to version 2 by changing the alias and then achieve the gray release of the application. After observing for a period of time without problems, the traffic can be switched to 100% to version 2. If you are keen to know more about Alibaba Cloud Function Compute, click in the description below. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more videos of Cloud Forward in the future. Until next time.